So I'm pretty happy. My high drive hydraulic steering is turned up. I'll have a bit of an open and see what we can see. The cylinder up on the bench. First cup out. We'll uh, clean these threads up. Get a bit of uh, lock tidy on and get these fittings in. And these just get nipped up. No tighter than. Let's clean the threads out with a bit of brake cleaner first. Got both fittings screwed in. And I changed the side of the bleed nipple on this one because the uh, control cables will come from the left hand side. In here. Same process for the helm, we're just going to take these plugs out. Give them a clean, there's a bit of loose oil in there, so they definitely need a clean. Bit of brake cleaner, we'll get the fittings in and let it sit three hours. I've got a bit of Loctite on these fittings. I cleaned the threads with brake cleaner and a bit of dry paper towel. Seems to be the best way to get it out. And now that the fittings are set up so that the fill hole is on the top and that the fittings are just going slightly up so the cable run will be smooth under the dash. So I've got the helm pulled out, inside of the boat opened up, all the cable ties cut and everything sort of pulled out so I can get it pulled through. I've got it halfway out at the moment, all going well this it was pulled out. Dear beaut. Just cleaning out the tilt tube. Again, a bit of brake cleaner and we're going to wipe. Looks like a junkyard, but here's the two tubes that come up through the back of the boat in here. I'll put this back together later. All the control cables and wires all come through here. I've got all them, all the cable ties taken off, and I'm putting new cables in their own um, spiral bound conduit just to stop any damage. We've got the cables through, and then I've tidied up all the stuff that was in here. It was a big mess before. Seems to have come up okay, nice and tidy. My sharp corners. And I've got it all the way through and out the back of the boat now. Just need to put the uh, flotation foam back in and we're good to go. Right, so I've just put this together as a sort of a test fit and we'll compress the olive in one go. I'll show you what I've done. Nut. Then the olive. Put it in as far as it goes, seat the olive, screw in the compression fitting. Don't do it up. It's not compressed. Bit of insulation tape here, and we're just doing to put that there. Just to make where we're at. We need to pull it out. Oh, 
where the hospital bed is. There. And now we can nip that up, compress the olive. You don't need to put a whole lot of force on these things. Somewhere there. Right, I'll undo that now. That fitting's done, ready to go on where it's in situ. Pull that bit of tape off. Just finger tight. Bit of tape to mark where we're up to. I'm going to pull this back one and a half millimeters. About there. We can nip this up now. Compression fittings. So that squashes the olive under that pressure chip. Right, and take it off and put it in the dash and uh, get it ready to fit up properly. So I've just screwed the fittings into the back of the helm and nipped the nuts up and we're good to go. You see I've got the hydraulic lines in a really natural direction. There's no twists or bends or kinks. I've routed the cables out the back of the boat through the tube up here sort of got a cable tied in and I've got the hydraulic lines coming out the back here and I'm just connecting them to these ports I'm going to do the same thing as I did last time put them in, pre-connect them then do them up later Helm's mounted up well, it's tidy. Got to finish tidying up a little bit of wiring underneath the dash and put the seat back in and we're finished. <laughs>